Jet ski backpack is complete. New Year's Eve, caught us off guard. Call yourself on the back of the mat, hurry up. This is not a swimming area. Things are just going off everywhere. Foot laceration, hand laceration, shoulder laceration. This is not a drill, this is the real thing. Take me back to the... Year's Eve, last day of the year. You know, it's been traditionally quiet down here. Most people aren't thinking about coming to the beach. They've got other agendas. Myself. Everyone's stuck in the fridges, <laughs> getting ready for the big night down here or wherever they're going to go. So it's usually quiet for us guys down here at Bondi. But uh, not this time. Lunchtime, we had a massive crowd of 30,000 plus. It was one of the busiest New Year's Eves we've had in years. The swell jacked up really quick and it kind of caught us all by surprise. Start up on a central. I've got a few kooks right in front of the bergs. Uh, might have to go for a paddle. Yeah, copy that, Chavo. Surfers have a lot of unique words. Kook's one of the... um. The ones that we use for beginner surfers. It's the ones that kind of get in your way and have been doing it for a while and they're arrogant and they're rude and they can't surf, but they think they can. Just keep coming this way. Here, the increase in swell is really the most dangerous thing that we can get. I think people mistake this beach for a little bit of a playground sometimes. When the swell's up, six foot, people don't seem to differentiate that from two foot and they can get smashed. Obviously cut it right, and it's hard to see how bad it is because all your hair's in the way. We get called down to backpackers, and the patient, she was a learned surfer, and she'd actually been hit with her own board. You'll be all right. She's got such a pretty face as well. Thank goodness it didn't chop her face off. We're going out tonight, and uh, hopefully this won't mean we'll have to stay in. You don't have to stay in with me. Couple of stitches. Just an edit, um, Bondi Junction oh, Medical Center. Yeah. Thank you. Have a happy New Year. Thanks, Thanks Brad. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks, you. Thanks, 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 Hoping it's not going to ruin our New Year's Eve. What, what are your thoughts putting the ski in the water? Uh, yeah, for sure, especially if we get a few more bad surfers out off the back of the rocks too. The jet ski is just so versatile in big surf. It gets to places that us as lifeguards with buggies just can't get to in the water. When it's a busy day and it's hot, it literally does the work of four lifeguards. Guys, well, I've got a couple in uh, South Port here that I'm going to have to pull in. Yeah, copy that, Reggie. Just over the last half hour, it's getting worse. It's starting to pull really badly off the middle set of flags. And our south corner was just a bit of a nightmare as well. So it's going to be a pretty busy hour, I reckon. Come on, mate. Get, get in there. Get out of this corner and get in. Go in. North Bondi is really dangerous. We've got people at the back of the flags waving. As a Bondi Central. Are you all right down there by yourself? Starting to get a nasty pull in the middle of the flags down here at the back. Pull yourself up on the mat. Get up on the mat. I've just come back from lunch straight into a f snowstorm. <laughs> north down of jet skiing. Back of the flags and all. You know what? Sometimes things are just all too. What the f are you doing? You're bashing them. As I arrive, I sort of see two guys and they're holding this other guy up and he looks like he's in a really awkward position and I'm like... Dislocated my shoulder. Fire was floating out the back on a six-foot day with a dislocated shoulder, I'd definitely be a little bit worried. I mean, like when you're swimming and you're sort of... You're kind of using your arms for balance and one of them ain't working. Uh, Reedy, are you OK, mate? <laughs> 
Okay, mate. Well, I can see us with you. Um, if you need any further assistance, let me know. I'm probably going to need assistance on the beach. I'm not going to bring him in until I've got someone to help him off the back of the mat. I'll come down. You're not going to stay with me, are you? I'll come down. Um, I'll come down. Now, can I actually try and reduce the What about if you get on the seat? Guys, I'm a, I'm a hand surgeon. Yeah. Just stand by. He's actually a surgeon. He's going to try and put it back into place himself out the back here. Just do whatever's most comfortable for you. Okay, yeah. mate. Any further assistance, let me know. I'm probably going to need assistance on the beach. I'm not going to bring him in until I've got someone to help him off the back of the mat. I'll come here, sir. I'm a hand surgeon. Yeah. Just stand by. He's actually a surgeon. He's going to try and put it back into place himself out the back here. Just stand by. The guy's trying for some, I don't know what reason, try to put his shoulder back in himself. Yeah, I don't know. That's a bit gnarly if you ask me. You get it? <laughs> well, he's had a few cracks at it. Unsuccessful. Sit behind you. Yep, yep. And just grab on with my yep. left arm. Yep. He got on the back with me and we just putted in and I took him in as gently as I could. Uh, Jeff here to add, mate, I'm going to bring him in right in front of you. I don't know if you can hear me yet, but uh, just right in front of you now. You can give a hand off the back. Yeah, I'm watching this guy get brought in by the ski with his dislocated shoulder and, you know, I just couldn't even imagine the kind of pain he'd be in right now trying to hang on. Just hold on, buddy. The next thing that I was worried about was how we were going to get him off the ski. It's going to be hard, me trying to beach the ski and get him off at the same time and there's waves coming and it's all a bit, you know, he's got a dislocated shoulder, he's in a lot of pain. Oh, you all right? Yeah. No worries. I've seen big men covered in tattoos, bawling like babies uh, with dislocated shoulders. This guy seemed to sort of, yeah, I don't know, he's either really tough or he'd done it before because he didn't seem as concerned as I would have been. Here is Eve, eh? Beach is packed, it's six foot. There's still four or five hours to go. Like, we're only halfway there. You know what I'm doing? I'm not worried about it. I'm getting more pants on. It's like... Freddie fit to lacing up his uh, game boots for the day for the Roosters. You know, I had to put my best pants on for the day. <laughs> when I change my pants to the smaller size, it means it's, it's on. <laughs> it means I'm quite confident that we're going to have to do some shit this far. <laughs> when I get busy, you have to drop a couple of sizes so they don't come off. <laughs> it's 2 o'clock. I'm on the jet ski. Yeah, we're busy as, and these geniuses decide to jump off a flat rock in an inflatable pool. For what reason, I have no idea. You just want to take a run up north end. There's a boat that's just capsized. Two guys sort of try and paddle it, just check if they're right. Just off flat rock. Copy, mate, on the way. They've got back into it now. The box is going to go over there and have a look. A decent swell for it. You all right? If you go to that corner, you'll end up out there. You want to go that way? You all right? Box was on the jet ski. We got him to go and have a look just in case they couldn't get in because they were out at Ben Buckler and they'd waved him away and just said, oh, look, don't worry about us. We're fine. We're all good. You know, we'll get ourselves in. They're right in the impact zone, nearly. These guys have just edged their way into the impact zone by themselves. This one will get them. Ah, yeah. oh, they're gone. Oh, oh gone. Oh, gone. Ah. <laughs> These guys got absolutely pumped. <laughs> it was funny. <laughs> I love it. Hello, one of lifeguards. He's just cut up, is he? Calls were coming in from everywhere regarding a guy who'd been injured at Flat Rock. Oh, how bad are they? Oh, Flat Rock's covered in barnacles. When the surf's six foot, Flat Rock is extremely dangerous and it's one of the last places you want to be. But when the sun's out, they always go there, every single time. How bad is he? I'm down here in the North Tower with the, um, with the ATV. He joined us to take that around run around the rocks. Hey, just hang on one sec, mate. What, what are you going to do, Chopper? Well, I've set the jet ski there now. Yeah, but the guy's on the rocks. He's all cut up. You know, North Bondi was so dangerous that day and Quinn was looking after North Bondi, so to send him out and look after someone who'd stupidly 
jumped into flat rock was not really a high priority for me at the time. I was almost not really worried about how hurt he was. He was almost going to have to be dead. Hey, boss. Is he going to jump on your ski? Is that possible? Yeah, boys, he's pretty cut up, this guy. He's laying on his back. I'm probably going to need something to get over here. I can't jump off the ski. 